everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what's new in my wardrobe for winter this year. You guys are always dying to know which pieces I kept from haul week. It's always such a hard decision deciding what to keep and what to send back from haul week because obviously most of the stuff I do really really like and I really felt like during spring haul week this year I kept way too many clothes. I think I was just in lockdown brain going stir crazy and I just kept way too many clothes so I tried to be a little bit more restrained this time whether I succeeded or not, we shall see. I know you guys are probably sick of hearing the disclaimer, but I just like to say it in case anyone's new here or newish here. I am very conscious that I give off this idea that it's perfectly normal to practically have a whole new wardrobe for every fashion season. It's totally not. This is what I do for a living. I make fashion videos on YouTube. I work with lots of brands. It's just a product of what I do. My wardrobe just fills up really, really quickly, especially after doing something like haul week. So as I got most of this stuff in September, some of it may be out of stock in your size right now. Some of it may be going into promotion or some good Black Friday deals during Cyber Week later on in the month, which leads me perfectly to talk about the very kind sponsors of this video, ShopTagger. Those of you who have been watching me for a while will have heard me talk about ShopTagger before, but it's really your best friend when it comes to online shopping. It's pretty much a 360 degree tool to really help you get the most out of your online shopping. And for me, as a fashion influencer and also just as a general online shopping addict, it has saved my life. It saved me so much time and also so much money. And if you're planning on any shopping during Cyber Week and Black Friday, then it's an absolute must have. So I'm going to show you guys how to use it now. So ShopTagger is completely free to download from the Google Chrome store. So you use it in your Google Chrome browser. And when you install it, it will pop a little ShopTagger button up in the top bar of your browser. So when you're online shopping and you see something you like, but maybe it's out of stock in your size or it's too expensive and you'd rather wait until there's a promotion on or it goes into the sale, you just hit the shop tagger button and save the item. And then you'll get email notifications or if you have the shop tagger app, mobile push notifications when the item comes back into stock in your size or goes into the sale. It's also really great for organizing your shopping. I do this when I have a trip or if I'm planning a particular video because you can organize all of the products you save into separate lists and wish lists. If you're shopping on a laptop or computer, ShopTagger can also scan the entire web for any promo deals or coupon codes for the website that you're shopping on. And then it automatically applies them at checkout. And I cannot tell you how much money I've saved doing this. They've also just launched a new cashback feature so you can actually earn cash back via PayPal when you shop from certain retail partners. So if you guys are interested in checking out ShopTagger, you can download it for free by clicking on the link in my description box. Also make sure you download the app onto your phone to make sure you can save as much money as possible on your online shopping. So let's get on with the video. So the first couple of items I have to show you, I showed you guys in my video a couple of weeks back and it's these two absolutely beautiful, stunning, wonderful coats from Sen Santini London. Santini is an independent brand. I actually met the girl who owns the brand and designs the coats. We just bumped into each other in the middle of London and she just makes the most beautiful, stunning coats in the world. Like they're the most Freddy coats that I could ever even imagine. And you just cannot find this kind of thing on the high street, like not to this quality, of course, but also just not this design. It's not something that's particularly trendy. It's something that's so old fashioned, old Hollywood glamour. It's just amazing and I was just so excited when she sent me these two coats. I couldn't believe it. They are literally both my dream coats. I've been wearing this one literally every single day that I have left the house since I got it. It's just so beautiful. It's really actually quite thin but it's so so warm. It's just a really good quality wool so it keeps you cozy without having to feel really bulky and it just looks so elegant and glamorous. The colour is stunning. It goes with everything and I'm just so in love with this. This one I haven't actually worn out of the house yet. It's honestly not because I love it any less than this one. This one has just been really easy to throw on, although it's really elegant and sophisticated. It's also just very easy to throw on, whereas I think this one is a little bit more of a statement. I feel like it's also more wintry rather than autumnal, but it's just absolutely beautiful. The most gorgeous ivory color with these incredible pearly buttons and just the way it fits on the body as well. It is pure elegance, sophistication, and just beauty. She is beauty, she is grace. And then the only other like coats and jackets that I kept was first of all this one from Hollister. Obviously I was working with Hollister at the time so I got to keep this as part of my collaboration but I really really love it and this is actually the coat that I was wearing almost every day before 
this one arrived. It's just so gorgeous. I love the colour. It's that lovely soft like teddy bear fabric and it's just so so cosy and I felt like it looked really like smart casual whereas this is very dressy. These are very elegant. This had more of a casual look and it kept me really warm and something that I said about this at the time was that a lot of the time these coats are very masculine. They don't have much shape to them. They just kind of hang there. They're quite big and bulky and this is the only one that I've ever tried on in this style that actually did have a very feminine shape. I've seen lots of these teddy coats and tried lots on and never really wanted to keep one before until this. I really really love it. And then also from Hollister I kept this cream puffer jacket. I honestly just couldn't resist this mainly because of the inside. It's lined with the most beautiful soft cozy faux fur and I just thought it would be perfect for those days where you're just kind of like popping out to the shops or maybe I'm popping out to the gym and you don't really obviously want to show up in like a fancy coat and looking all dressed up and this would just be something that was really practical and warm and cozy but it does also I think look very like polished and chic just kind of like an off-duty look because it's such a lovely like sophisticated colour. Before I open up my wardrobe I'm going to show you a couple of new pairs of shoes. First of all I'm sure it's going to be no surprise to you guys that I kept both the Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots and the ankle boots. I just couldn't honestly envision ever finding a more perfect pair of each boot. Lots of you guys will know this but I have been on the hunt for the perfect pair of brown suede over the knee boots for about three years and these just ticked every box. They are crazy expensive I know but when it's something that you know you're going to wear so often for so many years then I do think it's worth it and these are just like my dream boots. Like I've been wearing them constantly already. And then the ankle boots I honestly wasn't planning on keeping but I just couldn't get over how beautiful they looked on your foot. They're so slim on the ankle which is something that's really rare. There's no zip so they just fit so snugly around your ankle and they almost look like an extension of your leg which is really really flattering and elegant. And just like the over the knee boots they had the perfect arm and toe shape, the perfect small block heel that's really really comfortable to walk in and wear all day which is really important to me and again I just felt like I would never find a pair as perfect and beautiful as this so I'm so happy with these and I've been wearing these a lot as well it's like a toss-up every time I go out should I go for ankle boots or the over the knee boots I also have one new addition to my bag collection which is very exciting and it's the Dolce & Gabbana quilted Sicily bag so I showed you guys this in my autumn winter luxury essentials video which is in partnership with Farfetch um, luckily this was part of my collaboration with them which made the decision to have it a lot easier obviously but that honestly doesn't mean that I just like choose things willy-nilly and I just take things and don't really think about it. I still have to make careful decisions because I don't have that much space so I don't want to get something that I'm not going to use which is going to be taking up space and creating more clutter but the reason I felt this would be a good choice is because I have the Dolce & Gabbana Sicily bag just in like the pinky nude colour and I love that bag so much. I think it's so classic. I use it all the time and it goes with so many outfits and although it's the same bag it's obviously a different colour. It has this amazing quilted leather and I just thought it looked really cool and updated and would be a lot nicer for autumn winter whereas the other one could kind of be my spring summer bag. It's really versatile, the colour can go with anything. You can wear it as a day bag, you could also have it as an evening bag and I just think it's such a classic style and even though quilting is kind of a trend at the moment for clothing, I feel like in bags quilting has been around for ages. So I just felt like it was something that was really classic that I would just love and use for years. So I'm really really happy with it. It hasn't had its first outing yet um, but I'm very excited to take it out. It's just so beautiful. So as you guys know every time we go from spring summer to autumn winter I kind of switch out my wardrobes and give them a little reorganize because I like to have my current wardrobe in this these two cupboards and then have these two as more like storage. So I'll give you a little glimpse of my wardrobe because I'm just quite pleased it looks really free like there's not too much in there and um, there are a couple of things that need to go in there that I've kind of left out because I might do another mini clear out um, of my winter stuff because I didn't really touch my winter stuff in my last clear out because I'm really liking how much space I have and how it's not all crushed together. It's just really refreshing for me because normally all my stuff is just like jam packed in and you cannot even see anything. So I'm just really happy with how it looks. I've got my bottoms here, dresses and like longer things in the middle and then some blouses jumpers. I do have um, some jumpers that are hung up in the other wardrobe because they wouldn't all fit. Also I have jumpers in a drawer and then most of my coats apart from this one are on the rail. 
So I'm just gonna pull out the new pieces to show you. So the first new thing is of course this gorgeous um, skirt that I'm wearing. This is from Sandro. I got this from Farfetch. Since I showed this to you guys, so many of you have bought this. They're just amazing. They are on the pricier side. They're about 200 pounds. But as I've told you guys repeatedly, stuff like this that is versatile, that's classic, that you can wear with so many different tops, that is a nice like autumn winter staple thing for your bottom half is really, really rare. And since I got these from Topshop last year, I have worn them so much, like literally to death. And I get messages all the time and comments saying, I regret not buying these so much. And in all of my searching and shopping this autumn, these are the only bottoms I have found that I would say to you are must-haves. They just have the absolute perfect fit, the perfect shape, the color is fantastic, it's so autumn winter it looks so appropriate for the season you can wear them with tights over the knee boots you can wear them with jumpers blouses any kind of top really and they just look so classic so put together and really really stylish as well and i just absolutely love them they're definitely one of the best purchases that i have made this year and they're going to be one of those like staple things in my wardrobe that i know you're just going to be sick of seeing and then the other two bottoms i got are these and i really do like them both this is a little um brown pleated kind of like tennis school skirt that i just got from asos it was really cheap i think it was like 22 pounds it's not like the nicest quality in the world but it's the kind of thing where you can't really tell so i feel like it doesn't matter at all and this again just goes with everything you can wear it with blouses little tank tops you can wear it with turtlenecks chunky knits um, and it's just a really great like staple easy piece for your autumn winter wardrobe and i'm really really pleased that i kept it and then this gorgeous skirt is from and other stories it's a beautiful cream skirt with a really faint beige like houndstooth pattern which again i just think is really classic it's really timeless i really really love it when you find pieces that are very clearly autumn winter pieces not something that you'd wear in summer but it is in a pale color it's something that's kind of like a rarity and i just loved everything about this the way it fits on your body is really lovely the fabric is gorgeous really high quality and i feel like especially with a little kind of camel or beige turtleneck top it has such a 60s chic autumn winter style next i kept these two absolutely gorgeous knitted dresses from abercrombie i feel like my abercrombie haul was probably my favorite haul of the week it was the haul where every single thing that i put on my body I just absolutely loved even the things that weren't typically my style they just fit well they felt amazing um, and I just honestly wanted to keep everything but I ended up keeping these two dresses because I thought they were amazing autumn winter staples something that's really nice about a knitted dress is you are really warm and cozy but you can still have more of a chic look this one I love especially because I think the color is so sophisticated I really love that rich like berry tone in autumn winter it's probably the only color um, that I like that's not in my typical color scheme but I just think it's beautiful and for me it was the fit of this dress that really sold it to me because it was just so flattering um, it was figure hugging but not too tight it kind of hugged you in all of the right places and had these beautiful loose sleeves and that high neck it just looked so sophisticated um, but so casual and like low effort at the same time and I've just been wearing this a lot this one I also decided to keep just because again I felt like it was a really good staple it would be something to wear when you just really want to keep cozy but you still want to look pretty and cute and I also feel like a lot of the time jumper dresses knitted dresses don't always have the most flattering shape they can sometimes be a bit baggy they can just sort of hang there and don't do much for your body but I just really liked the way this looked I felt like again it was nice around the waist but nice and loose around the bottom it had nice sleeves beautiful fabric also a lovely color as well as I do like to keep to more of a light scheme then also from Abercrombie I could not resist keeping the cape I was really torn I didn't know whether to keep this one or the cream one and in the end I did decide on this because I just I don't know even now I'm almost like not sure of my decision and you know the cream one's there maybe I'll add it to my shop tagger and see if it goes into a good deal for cyber week I think ultimately I just felt like a lot of my autumn winter coats and jackets are white cream 
beige, they are all very light colours already and so I felt like this filled more of a hole, more of a gap in my wardrobe and I just love it so much. I think it looks so incredibly chic. I just think there's something about a cape, like a wraparound shawl that just looks so glamorous but so effortless at the same time. And the good thing about this is although it's kind of like a shawl cape, it does actually have a really good structure. So it's not just like a blanket that you're wrapping around yourself. It does have a fit like around the shoulders so you know exactly how you're supposed to wear it and it doesn't fall off. I think it would also look really amazing Amazing, like tied around the middle with a belt um, with like some over-the-knee boots it's just so chic and I'm obsessed with it and I am going to be keeping my eye on the cream one <laughs> then the last dress I kept was this one from Topshop as you can see it still has the tag in I haven't had the chance to wear it yet but I just could not send this back and luckily I did have some Topshop voucher um, because I am working with them at the moment so I was able to get this with my voucher and I just adore it I think it's so unique it's so different it's something that I think is really standout I love the color this really warm delicious cream color in this lovely soft like buttery faux leather I feel like it has a very 60s vibe especially with the button down with some over the knee boots of course I just felt like it was really different and it struck the perfect balance between feminine and kind of cool and out there which is something that I strive for in my outfits and I think this will look so amazing especially with this bag oh <gasps> look how cool that looks this bag is from and other stories by the way I will also link it for you guys it's not brand new I got this in the summer but I just think it's gorgeous such a cool trendy bag but it actually looks sophisticated with that faux croc and this really gorgeous brown colour. And then finally, I just have a couple of tops, blouses and knitwear. So first of all, I got these two tops from And Other Stories. I can never resist And Other Stories. I really can't. It's just one of my favourite brands and I just love everything I have from there everything especially their knitwear but I did actually get a little bit restrained on their knitwear because I just thought you know what I love the things I already have I don't need any more jumpers so I ended up getting first of all this blouse which I think is absolutely beautiful and I just thought it was so lovely that it was pink it was floral which are two things that are very spring summer but yet it's very clearly an autumnal blouse I think it's probably because it has that nice kind of berry maroon shade in it um but i just think with a brown skirt you know with like this skirt it just goes absolutely perfectly and it's nice to wear something in autumn winter that isn't a jumper or isn't a turtleneck it's nice to have a little bit of variety and also a little bit of color because especially for me in autumn winter my color palette gets very bland very very neutral which i love but sometimes it is nice just to have something a little bit more fun and colourful and I just thought the print was beautiful, the fit was gorgeous, it had the most lovely like fluttery feminine sleeves um, and I just think it is stunning. And then the next thing I got from And Other Stories was this top. It's kind of like a knitted polo top and I just thought that it was really cool and really different and I didn't really have anything like it and I thought it'd be a really nice like casual top to wear on like an everyday basis. It would just go perfectly with all of the bottoms. Initially, I tried it on with the beige skirt from And Other Stories, which they just looked absolutely lovely together. And I just thought that it would be a really lovely, like classic staple piece that's easy to wear, that's casual, um, but that's also trendy, that looks really up to date and cool. And then the last like top that I got that's not like a knitwear piece is this top. And I'm really glad that I managed to pick up a few like non knitwear tops because I feel like in autumn winter I do just end up always wearing like the same thing like a high neck cream jumper and I kind of wanted to get a bit more variety in my wardrobe and have things that were a bit more interesting a bit more different and it couldn't be more interesting and different than this top I think it's from the brand Stoud which I picked up from Farfetch I just think it's really cool I love this rusty brown color and it's a really cute little cropped tight fit and I just love the design it has I think it's called like a mandarin collar so it kind of has like a Chinese influence which I just think is so lovely and then the last things I have to show you are both knitwear but they're not like the normal high neck balloon sleeve cream jumper that I would normally buy this time of year I really kind of wanted to avoid adding something into my wardrobe that I already basically had. So the first thing is this little cable knit sweater vest from Mango. I was going on and on about these during haul week because they are very in fashion at the moment, which I think is really exciting because I always like loved this kind of thing. Like for years, I've loved this kind of style, but it wasn't mainstream enough to be able to buy something that would actually fit me 
and look cute and wasn't actually designed for a granddad. In fact, I'm actually gonna try it on and see how it looks with this whole thing because they're very trendy. So they will make a kind of usual boring outfit look very much more like up to date. Oh my God, it actually does look cute with this outfit. That's the beauty I always say of buying things all in the same color palette. You can just throw things together and they usually pretty much work. The only thing I'm thinking is it kind of like adds a lot to me around here. So I'm not sure if it's like the most flattering, but at the end of the day, sometimes it's not all about like things looking flattering. It's just about being cozy. And this is just gonna add that like nice layer of warmth to your look and it is gonna add that trend. Okay, it kind of looks cute tucked in as well. I'm kind of still finding my feet with this trend um, because I'm obviously not used to styling it, but I just think it's cool. It's something different. And then the last new piece is this really lovely pale pink creamy knit from Zara when I wore this in my video, my what I got for my birthday video two weeks ago, everyone was going crazy for this. And it is really lovely. I feel like it's a really nice thing to wear super casually. Like if you're traveling or just kind of at home, it's something that's so casual, but still incredibly elegant and sophisticated. It looks expensive. I feel like it looks like the kind of thing that you would get in Reese or Club Monaco or Karen Millen or something like that. It's got these kind of like bat wing sleeves and this really lovely like cape detail and almost has a bit of a sporty vibe as well. So yeah, I'm really glad I kept this and I think this is gonna be something that when we get back to traveling and stuff on planes, this will be the kind of thing that I love to wear. So guys, that's it for today. That's everything that is new in my wardrobe. Now everything's out. I feel like actually I did keep a lot. I wasn't too restrained. However, I don't really regret it because I actually had very little winter clothes left over from my last clear out. I can't remember, but I must have been extremely ruthless because I didn't have very much at all. And there's still plenty of space in my wardrobe. So I feel like I've made some good decisions, clothes that I know that I'll definitely wear. Um, and I'm just really happy with everything I got. Do let me know which your favorite pieces were down below in the comments and also let me know if you bought anything from Hall Week and what you've been wearing. I would love to hear. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.